Welcome back to Thrifty Mama Scraps. Well, today is the Pent Ultimate Day. It is the day before, the day before Christmas, and so I need to plan the week of Christmas. It is Sunday, and I have quite a lot to do yet. Um, <clears throat> I didn't get to everything that I was supposed to do last week because it was so busy, but Today I'm going to work on getting a lot more done. I did accomplish a lot yesterday um, as far as prep for the next two days. But um, I'll kind of go through last week and the, the way I normally do. And then I'll let you know going forward how next week is going to look. It's going to be a lot slower <laughs> than um, this week was. So as far as dinner went, um, I didn't really follow the meal plan very closely. Um, Monday night, um, we had dinner at our friend's house. Um, we ate at their house and we visited for a while. Um, I didn't have to call the heart failure clinic about um, the one prescription because um, Walgreens figured it out on their own and they fixed it before I had, uh, they fixed it on Sunday actually. And so I was able to pick up the refill before Monday. So I didn't even have to worry about that. And then I found out that the heart failure clinic, um, that program is ending at, um, the hospital. And so, um, that's going to, um, that's going to be a big change, especially, um, I am recovering well, which is great. Um, but I just really, um, like the one-on-one, -on -one, um, time with them. Um, they were more in depth, especially with blood work and, um, following my, diet and exercise um, program and just staying on top of everything, my medications, everything like that. Um, so much more so than just my cardiologist. And I don't care for my primary care physician. Um, so hopefully I'm going to look for a new one in the coming year. Um, I never have cared for the doctor that I see. Um, and I've been with the same PCP for going on probably seven years. So we'll see how that goes. Um, there's not much that I can do about it. It just is the way it is. So um, for financial reasons, the hospital had to end the program. So anyway, um, I did go to cardiac rehab on Monday. Um... And on Tuesday, um, I did watch Katie's kids. Um, by the time they left, we were really tired. So we did not do a movie night. I did watch with her kids. I did. No, that was Wednesday night. Well, we did watch Caillou's Christmas on Tuesday night, which is incidentally a movie that my kids are really into Caillou when they were little, like really little. Um, and, um, Hunter so much so that there were a couple birthday parties that he had Caillou bir themed birthday parties cause he liked Caillou so much, but, um, we don't watch that movie, that DVD anymore. Normally, um, it's just something that I've saved just for nostalgia because the kids were so into it back when they were little. Um, but I played it for my friend's kids when I was watching them and they loved it. So, so, and I even asked her when she came to pick them up, I'm like, is Caillou even on TV anymore? And she said, oh yeah, he, he's on TV. So, so that's good to know. Cause it was a cute little show. Um, the outdoor furniture is still in the backyard on the patio has not been put away yet. Um, I'm not going to say anything more about that because <laughs> I don't understand what the hold up is, but I don't want to be a nag. So, um, on 
Oh, and on Monday I did, here I have um, frost cookies. We did frost the cookies. Um, well, half the cookies. Half of them are still in the fridge. I'm going to frost them today with Ethan and for Christmas Eve. So we only frosted half. And then, um, and then the banana bread in a jar for the 4-H, I did do that on Monday morning. Then I got that done, and it actually turned out quite well. It was the first time that I had made it. It was a Pinterest recipe, so it worked out really good. Um, and the boys did make their gifts for their um, for their 4-H um, member that they drew for the gift exchange. So they did that. Um, they ended up, what they did is they took, um, I had a couple canvases for... Gosh, I must have bought them a couple of years ago. Um, for some reason, I was going to make something that I never did. They were in my office. And um, what the boys did is they taped out with painter's tape um, the person's name that they drew. And then they painted over top with acrylic paint, like, um, like sponge painted just all around different colors like hunter had a girl he had ariana and so he used purple pink and yellow and then ethan actually had another boy named ethan <laughs> coincidentally and um he did his in minecraft colors so he did green brown and black and then after it dried we peeled the tape off and then it showed their name underneath so um they both turned out really well, and um, the kids that they gave them to were really happy with it. So, so that was their their present that they gave because um, the 4-H club as a whole drew decided that they wanted homemade gifts um, to give each other for Christmas. And my boys actually received Hunter received um, a cross stitch Iron Man picture and um the one of the boys made which is really cool and then he also made them gingerbread cookies and they were iron man gingerbread cookies so that was kind of cool and then um ethan ariana had ethan and um she made him the most amazing picture with spray paint and it was a star wars scene and it was just i don't even know how she did it it was pretty cool and he loves that. It it turned out, I think it looks professional, like a, a poster that you could buy in the store. But she made it, so that's pretty amazing. She must have used masking or something to make it, but it was pretty cool. And um, <clears throat> so Wednesday, anyways, I'm on Wednesday. Um, Scott went to the dentist, had his fillings. Um... I went to cardiac rehab. Um, Katie's kids came over again because I had to watch them. This was for her Christmas party. This was for, um, what was that for? Oh, just for, because she sees her therapist on Wednesday nights. And um, so we gave them their Christmas gifts. And that was really cute to watch them play with them. And... Um, we watched Caillou's Christmas again because I wanted to watch that again. And then we watched the Polar Express with them. And they absolutely were mesmerized with the Polar Express. So that was fun. And then when they went home, we were going to, I think we were going to watch movies. But we were all too tired. And we knew that we had to get up early on Thursday morning. So... I think we just watched Lethal Weapon, the um the TV show on Hulu, and it was a Christmas episode, so I think we just watched that, and then we went to bed. And then um, Thursday, um, I did some chores that morning. Well, actually, was it that morning? Yeah, it was that morning. So I did deep clean the bathrooms, and I did vacuum and dust. And then I did wash the curtains. I don't think I washed the curtains on Thursday, though. I think I washed them on Friday, actually. And then I did go to lunch with one of my best friends, and we had such a great time. Um, I saw our new house, and it's a lot smaller than their older house, but 
or their other house. Their other house wasn't really older. It was, it was very nice as well. Um, this one is older. This house that they purchased was older than their other house that they, um, that they owned and they downsized because their kids are both, um, they're empty nesters now. Um, their daughter is actually graduating with her master's degree. Um, well, a double, she's actually graduating with both her ma bachelor's and her master's from ISU this, this spring and well in May. And, um, so she was able to do both at the same time, which is kind of cool. Um, she just had to go an extra year to finish. And, um, and then her son is married and he is Matt's age. He's 26. And then, um, then after in between time, the kids really wanted to go to the movies. So because Scott had off, he took them to lunch. Um, we ate at core, Michelle and I ate at core life. And then, um, Scott took the boys to Red Robin because he had some coupon or something. And then, um, then we all met up and we went to see Once Upon a Deadpool at the, the movie theater because the boys wanted to see it. And I did not realize it. It was just um, a PG-13 version of Deadpool 2, which we had already seen and we own. So <laughs> it's kind of, um, it was, the movie was kind of redundant. So it wasn't my favorite thing the kids liked it um fred savage was in it from doogie how was he doogie hauser no he wasn't doogie hauser what was he on he was on some show when i was a kid i think when i was a teenager or something like that but um anyways he's in it and it it was a lot cleaner than like for kids than the um Deadpool two was. Um but our boys we kinda let them see all the Marvel movies anyways and are they're older and they just don't go around swearing. So um none of us really do. Every once in a while I'll type something on Facebook that is a cuss word and every once in a while, I mean, everybody cusses every once in a while, but it's not like anybody's walking around here, you know, cussing like a sailor or anything like that. Um, and honestly, I've never heard my boys swear, Hunter or Ethan. Um, Matt used to drop the F-bomb quite a lot, but he doesn't live here anymore, so... <laughs> I think that was just kind of part of his generation, and I think he just tried to get a rise out of us. That's why he used to say that. He was the one who liked to push the limits, but he's doing good. We're happy for him. He's living in Arizona, and he's doing really well. So, so that's his generation. So, anyway, um, let's see. Friday... I had cardiac rehab. I brought them their gift. Um, and hopefully they got some winners out of the lottery tickets. I, I brought them um, candy bars and lottery tickets. So I'm hoping that somebody won something. I don't know. Sometimes you never know with lottery tickets. So, and then, um, it was the last day of school before Christmas break, and I did not get to scour the sinks or the showers yet. I need to do that today, and I did not clean out the microwave yet. I still need to do that. Um, I did clean out the coffee maker, and the cat litter was changed. Um, yesterday, we did get groceries for Christmas Eve. We went to Aldi, um, and we have everything we need for the holidays. Um and honestly, we don't, I am like, I'm like the cheapest person on the face of the earth. I think probably, and in, in fact, everybody in my family thinks that I'm the cheapest person on the face of the earth. And I'm not, I mean, I'm not like, I shouldn't say that I'm cheap. 
because I mean, I do buy nice gifts for people. I don't like skimp on gifts or anything like that. But like for buying groceries and stuff, I try to spend the least amount possible. And I don't like to, like even Christmas, we don't spend a lot of money for Christmas. Um, we just never have. We don't buy a lot of, a ton of gifts for people, um, even our kids. Um, <clears throat> we just have, I just have this spending budget that I set up and I usually stick to it or I'm under it. Um, so like all I asked for Christmas that I want for Christmas is a new vacuum cleaner because um, our vacuum cleaner is really old. It's over 10 years old and it's just not working very well anymore. And, um, and I want a bagless one that I don't have to buy bags for. So I'm hoping that I get that for Christmas, but I don't know that that's what I'll get. So, um, but I did ask for that um, because I'm a practical type of person. I don't like, I don't like jewelry or I'm not big on rings and um, jewelry. I mean, I have jewelry, but I don't have nice jewelry. Um, that's worth anything really. Um, I do have, um, my wedding ring that I don't, I don't normally wear all the time. I wear my gold band, but I don't wear my one that, um, Scott gave me, um, because I'm, I lost a diamond in it once and, um, it was expensive to get replaced. It wasn't terribly bad. Um, it was like $150 to get replaced, but it was just the small diamond that fell out. And now I only wear it for good. I don't wear, I don't wear it like every day, like I used to. So, and that's really the only good jewelry that I have because I, I'm cheap that way. I don't even like, I did my nails today and that's one thing that I never pay for ever is I don't pay to get my nails done. I don't pay to get a haircut. I don't pay to, I just, I don't know. I, I try not to hire anyone to work on our house. I always, my dad is very handy. My dad, um, my dad is a retired deputy sheriff, but he also, um, he also, the whole time I was growing up, he had his own electrical business. And so, um, he, and he built our house when, when I was growing up. So I was right there firsthand. So I am extremely handy and I pretty much can figure out how to fix almost anything or do, I mean, I've never, I grew up working on a farm. So hard work just was not like, I don't know, it was just a part of my life. And so doing things around my house and fixing things around my house is just second nature to me. Whereas it's really foreign for my husband because his dad um, hired everybody to do everything. And so my husband, that's, that's outside his comfort zone. And so like whenever we have a project or something, I'm always gung ho to get it done. And he's always like really apprehensive because he's afraid he's going to screw it up. And I understand that. Um, but I just don't like to spend the money on something that I can do myself. If I can't do it myself, like plumbing issues, we hire out because I know that Scott does not know how to do plumbing. I don't know how to do plumbing. Um, I'm not comfortable with doing plumbing and we've had so many water leaks in this house in the past. I just don't even want to deal with it. So that is one thing that we do. But anyways, um, I'm really, really jabbering on today, aren't I? I'm almost at 20 minutes and I haven't even started my planner yet. Okay. I'll have to cut this a little short, so um, I just need to stop talking. Um, let's see. I did not go to church with Katie this morning because... Oh, where was I? I was on Saturday. Okay, so we did our Christmas grocery shopping. I am helping Ethan clean his room today. Um, I still need to trim Scooby's hair. 
Um, he's still got some mats in it, like little knots. So I'm just gonna take the scissors and just cut those knots off. His hair is curly, so it won't even show. And then um, I did wash the bedding and I did, I'm doing laundry right now. Um, I didn't go to church with Katie today because um, Katie was out of town visiting her family. Um, I Ethan did not want the tree in his room this year. So we put it in our bedroom and I did that yesterday and I decorated it yesterday. Um, Christmas and Christmas Eve are all planned. Um, I did do my nails and December Daily is all organized, but um, I haven't started it yet. I'm ashamed to say, I haven't done it. Okay, so this is the week of Christmas. So I'm gonna sort through my stickers and do the whole routine that I normally do. Hopefully this video won't be terribly long. So I'm going to, to keep it shorter, I'm going to pick up the stickers, stick them on, and write everything down, and then I'll be back and I will finish the video. Hi guys, I'm back. So I put the stickers on and I planned the week of Christmas. Um, Christmas Eve is tomorrow and then Christmas is Tuesday and then the rest of the week as well. So, um, the first thing I did is I wrote down our menu for Christmas Eve because we are having my husband's family over, which consists of about three people. So there will be seven of us total, which is a very small group, but not a lot of people live around here that we are related to. Um, the closest on his side of the family is in Pontiac, Illinois, and they stay in Pontiac. So um, his mom's side of the family isn't super close, so they don't ever get together at Christmas time. So the only people that'll come over is his mom, his brother, and then his uncle that lives with them. So that's it. And um, my husband works tomorrow morning, and Hunter also works tomorrow until 6 p.m. So um, we probably won't get started on our Christmas Eve stuff until after 6 when Hunter gets home. So um, our menu for tomorrow is deli sandwiches, which my mother-in-law ordered a deli tray from Walmart that she is going to pick. Well, my husband's going to take her to pick up after he gets home from work at 3 um, because she does not drive. And then um, we're going to have chips and dip. Ethan's going to make the dip today, um, the chip dip. And we just mix, you know, that onion soup mix with sour cream. And that's what we use as dip. That's our favorite kind of dip. So, And then um, tortilla chips and salsa. And then we bought, we bought a bag of hot wings and a bag of honey barbecue wings at Aldi yesterday. So we'll make those. And then we also bought two packages of those little smoky um, hot dogs or whatever. And then um, I'll put barbecue sauce in that and I'll put it in the little crock pot. And then I'm going to cut up some vegetables and then I'll just make like a homemade dill dip which I normally just make, and I'll mix it with sour cream to dip the veggies in. And either that, or if I don't have enough sour cream, I'm not sure if I will after the potato chip dip. So I might um, instead just um, put a bottle of ranch dressing on the table, and people can dip it in ranch or whatever. And then Ethan's going to make his cheese ball. He really likes making cheese balls. That's something that he finds fun um, every holiday. So um, he's going to make that today so I can sit in the fridge and um, like he forms it in a ball and then he puts it in the fridge overnight and then the flavors kind of blend together overnight plus the ball becomes solid. And then tomorrow he'll roll it. I think he's gonna roll it in pomegranate seeds um, tomorrow right before he serves it. So, and then we have Ritz crackers um, for that. And then um, just the sweet treats that we made yesterday. I made, um, what is it called? Um, Christmas Chex Mix with the Scott like white melted white chocolate chips 
and um, powdered sugar, kind of, and then it's got M&Ms and pretzels and stuff in it. It's kind of like Muddy Buddies, but there's no peanut butter in it. And then I also made um, white chocolate peanut butter mounds, which are have Rice Krispies in them. And then um, they also have pretzels in them. And you mix peanut butter with the melted white chocolate. And then you like put it in blobs on a cookie sheet until it hardens. So and those are my favorite. I need to stay out of them. I've already had two and I made them yesterday. So need to stay out of those. And then also we have Christmas cookies um, that I need to decorate for tomorrow. And um, we also have a gingerbread house that is like a gingerbread cake um, that we got as a gift for at 4-H on Thursday night, which I will slice up um, for Christmas Eve. And then um, Ethan, or Hunter has his... Um, Iron Man gingerbread cookies, too, that he got as a gift on Thursday night from 4-H. So he will also, we'll put that out. And then we also got a box of chocolates at 4-H, and I'll open that and put that on the table as well. And then for, um, to drink, we have eggnog, and then um, I bought a bottle of wine, and then um, the kids will have their kitty wine, which is sparkling um, grape juice. So... That is our menu for Christmas Eve. And then, um, of course, at night, we'll have to fill the stockings. I already wrapped everything up. Um, was it yesterday? Either yesterday or the day before. So it's all wrapped. I just got to stick it in there. I do want to film a video of how I make page or page toppers, bag toppers for what I do is I normally buy three bags of candy, um, like the kids' favorites. That's basically what I do. And this year I bought Twix, which is Ethan's favorite. Um, Hershey Bells, which Hershey is Hunter's favorite. And then peanut butter, peanut butter cup, like Reese's peanut butter cup trees, which is Scott's favorite. And then what I do is I just divide it up into bags. And then I put like a like, I make a homemade um, paper topper out of, like, scrapbook paper. And then um, and then I'll staple it and make it look cute. So, I'm hoping to film that video today. So, because I have to get that together. But otherwise, like, the few stocking stuffers. The kids really only get three stocking stuffers. Um, we just don't go all out for Christmas at all, so... And that's the way I prefer it. I don't like to um, spend a lot of money on Christmas or go into debt at all in Christ on Christmas. I never, we never do that. So, um, let's see. Um, okay, so Ethan has to make his cheese ball. We have to make the dip. I have to set the table by three because that's what time Scott's going to pick up his mom and then they're going to pick up that deli tray and then they're gonna come over here. And then um, we'll have Christmas with his family and we'll probably play games. Our family is huge on board games. We always play board games all the time. We do family game night all the time with our kids. Um, every year for Christmas, the kids get one or two board games. That's just standard, we always do that. We always pick some game that they don't have. We have an entire closet full of games <laughs> we just I don't know we just always I I grew up playing board games and I love board games so and card games and all kinds of kind all kinds of games like that so we just that's just something that we do um just a traditional thing and then let's see Tuesday Christmas morning Scott works 3 to 11 so Christmas is just going to be the four of us um I need to make cheese danish. I have puff pastry that is in the refrigerator right now. And then I just got to make the filling for it and stick it in the oven. And then we'll just have coffee and cheese danish with while we open presents. 
And then when Scott goes to work, um, I'll just play games with the boys. Um, like I said, they always usually get one or two games um, for Christmas. So we'll, I'll, we usually, that's what I usually end up doing is playing games with the boys at the table um, if Scott has to work. So, and then we'll probably watch our traditional Christmas movies. Um, and that day I need to make sure I wipe down the boys' bathroom because when we have a bunch of people over, well, we're not having a bunch of people over, but we'll have three people over and the boys' bathroom is the guest bathroom also. So after that many people use that bathroom, it's going to need to be wiped down, especially a bunch of guys. Um, on Wednesday, Scott is off. I have cardiac rehab. Um, I need to clean up the aftermath of Christmas, um, if I haven't already done it on Christmas Day. I usually don't like to leave a big Christmas mess, and I don't like presents sitting under the tree, like open presents sitting under the, under the tree for long periods of time. So, I usually right away have the boys, um, put their stuff away, and then we put it away right after, um... So I'll probably, if it hasn't been done here, I'll do it here. Um, I need to order a prescription refill because it, for some reason, this prescription did not renew. And I think that I'm out of, um, I'm out of refills. So I need to call the doctor's office and they're probably going to want me to make an appointment because I have not seen them since summer. And that's with my PCP, so the doctor that I don't really care for. And then I need to vacuum and mop the mudroom because that's the door that um, friends and family come through. And it just, like, when it's wet and yucky out, that room just gets dirty so fast because it's a mudroom. And then that night, we're going to have chicken and mushrooms um, for dinner. I think chicken thighs and mushrooms. I don't need to get groceries this week because... We really, like the past couple of weeks, um, since the last time I got groceries, we ate out like a number of times, which is unusual for us. We don't normally eat out that much, but it just worked out that way with seeing friends and, or we ate at other people's houses um, or had parties or went, went to parties that had food there and all that stuff. So um, my freezer is still full of, chicken and I have a beef brisket and I have um I don't even know what's in there honestly but we have I don't have to get groceries probably for another week or maybe maybe even two weeks I, I might be able to stretch it so um because I like to I don't like a lot of food like right now it feels like we have a lot of food because of the holidays and we have a lot of stuff that I bought specifically for the holiday. But um, I don't like just stuff sitting there. I, I want it used and out. Otherwise it gets old and freezer burnt and then you end up throwing away stuff and, and I need to do that on Saturday anyways. So Thursday, Scott is off. I've, I'm gonna go to cardiac rehab on Thursday because they're closed. I'm not going Monday. They're actually open tomorrow, but for a tiny bit, but I'm not going to go tomorrow. And I'm not going to go, of course, on Christmas because they're closed. I'll go Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week for my three days because you can go three days a week. So I'll go those three days. And I'll go at 9 a.m. again. There's no piano until January 9th, I believe. So the kids don't have piano until then so we do not have to go up to Bloomington at all which is nice that we don't have to go to Bloomington for a couple weeks and then um I need to do laundry I need to sweep them up I need to wash the windows because I honestly have not still not washed the windows which is sad but it just didn't get done and then I need to clean off all the surfaces um, that night we're going to have beef brisket on a bun. So I'm going to stick it in the crock pot until it's all shredded. And then we'll just have that on buns and we'll have roasted sweet potatoes with that. And my family does not like roasted sweet potatoes. 
Ethan will eat it. I'll eat it. Um, so I'm going to have to like make regular potatoes as well because I know Hunter and Scott will not eat sweet potatoes. And then on the 28th, um, Scott works through to 11. Of course, cardiac rehab. I need to wipe down the bathrooms again, especially the boys' bathroom. I need to wipe down my bathroom too. And then, um, then I have this on the list again, outdoor furniture in the shed. So I'm hoping upon hoping that that happens this week because it's getting like, I think this, if I went back on my planner, I bet you this has been on here since October and it still has not been done, but I don't like to nag, So I'm just going to be patient about it. And then, um, Friday's payday. So we need to pay the mortgage, we need to pay the credit card bill, we need to pay the water bill, and we need to pay the truck payment. And then that night, we're going to have chicken fried rice and egg rolls. I have egg rolls in the freezer from a few weeks back that we bought at Schwann's and we didn't eat them all. So um, I'll probably make chicken fried rice and then um, it's just going to be Ethan and I anyway, so... so. I think there's a couple egg rolls off. And then um, Saturday, we need to burn because there'll probably be boxes from Christmas and stuff like that. So we need to burn in the backyard if it's decent enough to burn. I need to run to the post office to mail the bills. I need to wipe down the washer and dryer. Um, I did just wipe, wash, ugh, I don't know how, I don't know how to talk. Um, I did just wipe down the dryer actually yesterday, so I don't know why I wrote that. So, But I did not wipe down the washer, and I probably should put that um, stuff in it too. I should completely clean the washer. There's a stuff that you buy that you put in. You put it in the washing machine, and it cleans your wash, washing machine because we have an HE washing machine. So... Um, yeah, I need to put that in. I forget the name of the stuff. But I know that I have some on hand. And then um, I need to dust off the pianos because sometimes they get dusty. And then I need to do a pantry and freezer inventory, which means I just go through the pantry and get everything out, wipe down all the shelves, put it all on the table, see what I've got, see what I can make menu. I, I like write down everything that I have and then see what I can plan like for menu wise with what we have on hand and then um just so I don't have to go to the grocery store and sometimes there are like little items that I, I will have to go to the grocery store for to like fill in like if I have stuff for chili but I don't have one item then I need you know I'll just make a very small list and that's I usually do that at the end of the year just to get rid of stuff um so we have two pantries. We have one pantry in the kitchen and then we have one pantry in the mudroom. And so I need to go through those. We have three freezers. I need to go through those and throw away anything that's freezer burnt or old. Um, I haven't done that in a while. Um, we have a deep freezer, which is in the mudroom and we have a refrigerator freezer that's in the mudroom as well, I need to go through. And then we also have our refrigerator freezer that is in the kitchen. So that is gonna be um, probably a three or four hour task, um, but it needs to be done. So it's on my list. And then um, I need to start my December daily. I know I've been saying that over and over again, but I do need to do that. And I need to reorganize my office because it is not how I want it to be. And that night we're going to have stuffed shells and pasta sauce. And then, um, did I say what we're having Christmas night? I don't think so. We're having manicotti salad and bread. That's what the kids wanted to have since it's only the three of us. And then on Sunday, I need to deep clean the bathrooms like I always do on Sunday. I need to go through my makeup and throw away all the expired stuff. Um, I do that at the end of every year as well, just to get rid of anything that's old or that I don't like. Um, and that way, just start out the new year like with 
on a clean slate. I like to do that. Um, I need to do a planner video. And we need to move the fireplace back in the entryway, take down the advent tree, and the little town of Bethlehem. That needs to be done next Sunday. And that night we'll have hot turkey sandwiches with mashed potatoes and gravy. Because that was on the menu last Sunday, I believe, and we didn't have it. So that's it. That is Christmas week. So I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. And I... I'm sure that you're all excited, um, as well as our family is, to celebrate. And, um, yeah. So, Merry Christmas, guys. And thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. So, I'll talk to you later. Bye.